Hello everyone, Akpi here, and today I'm going to be sharing a quick tip on how you can use the brand new Woodland Grand Piano or the newly updated Woodland Piano to emulate Oliver Arnold's player piano's rhythmic style. The only thing that I'm going to be using is the inbuilt arpeggiator in Ableton Live. This is something that I've been trying out for the past few years, and depending on the context, I'll add different parameters to this kind of effect to generate different results. First, I'll show you a demo of what this technique looks like in action. Check it out. Before I build it from the ground up, this is what's going on. We have a single instance of Woodland Grand Piano that is the main voice that isn't affected by the arpeggiator. And then we have a few layers of different arpeggiators with different subdivisions. As you can see, they're all set to random, and I find that this mimics the effect of Oliver's pianos a lot better than any directional arpeggiator. And this way you also avoid the obvious looping point if you're using directional arpeggiators. On whichever is the slowest arpeggiator, I'll put it on two steps, which means that it does whatever it wants to do in two additional octaves, and the other ones I like to put as just one. And I do this because sometimes the random jumping of an octave on the slower subdivisions makes for some really interesting melodies that spontaneously pop up. For the faster ones, I like to just keep it at one additional octave, because this way you get more consistent chord tones happening instead of just random notes bouncing around everywhere. For these absolute fastest ones, I actually have them on a decaying fade out, so to speak. So every time I hit the note, they go very fast, but then they also die out really quickly. This adds a little bit of interest and a little bit of extra rhythm and movement and motion to your chord changes, which can sound very appealing depending on the context. The solo instance of the Woodland Grand Piano is playing the normal articulation, and the other ones are playing the felt. I just did this to create some separation between the two sets of pianos. And you can also play around with the different mic positions if you want to create even more separation. For example, by excluding one of the mic positions from the main piano, and then including only that for the player pianos. This is what this technique sounds like on the updated Woodland Piano now.
So what I'll do here is I'll create a few instances of the Woodland Grand Piano, and I'll add an arpeggiator to each of them. At least in this arpeggiator from Ableton Live, there's this function called hold, and I always assign a MIDI button to it. Now what this function does is if you click it and you just hit a chord, the chord will stay on indefinitely. And if you leave it off, if you hit a chord, the notes will only keep playing as you're holding them on the keyboard. So you can use this to create a very controlled effect as you're playing a chord, or you can just use it as a texture thing, which is what I prefer doing by holding it. And when I want the notes to just ring out their final notes, I'll hit the hold function, and then you'll just get the tail of the note to finish out the moment. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually duplicating each subdivision. And the reason that I'm doing that is instead of having just a single note bouncing around, you can have sets of notes bouncing around together, always making a little bit of a chord motion instead of just single notes, which can be very useful. One thing that really helps this effect is panning each layer slightly. I like to do it in parallel pairs. The slower ones I'll usually leave at the center, but in this example I'll pan them just a little bit, and I'll pan the faster ones a little bit more. As you can see, this creates a really nice width, and it helps to separate everything so it's not just a jumbled mess of notes. Now for the faster ones, I'll add what I was talking about earlier, which is this velocity trigger, which makes it so when I hit a note, it decays for the set amount that I specified, and it goes all the way down to the target velocity, which in this case is zero, which means it goes mute. So now as we piece them all together, this is what they sound like. And I'm doing regular subdivisions at this point, fourths, eighths, sixteenths. But what you can actually do is that you can change them or offset them either by milliseconds or right here by a different kind of subdivision. And by doing this, the way that I'm doing is that you get these really cool polyrhythms. Maybe for this example, I'll omit the faster ones just to keep it a little bit more organized. Now that's basically it. The cool thing about this technique is that you can actually use it on any MIDI instrument. So you can emulate the Oliver Arnold's piano effects or Stratus effect with any instrument that you'd like. Pizzicato strings can sound pretty interesting depending on the context and how you apply this effect. And other instruments like Celeste's or Zither's or Dulcimer's can sound really cool as well. So give it a go. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. There's obviously a ton of variation that you can do with this, but this is the main way that I've been using this effect, but there's obviously a ton of different things that you can do with this. It would be cool to get a really nice sequencer effect, like the one that you hear in Doria, for example, where the low notes are doing a steady rhythmic motion. It would be cool to get to that point with this effect, but at least in Ableton, I haven't been able to mix sequencers with this effect just yet. All of the sequencers that I've tested so far have required me to input notes manually, whereas this effect is based on the notes that you're playing. But yeah, that's it for this quick tip. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the Woodland Grand Piano, which is finally out, and there's a video walkthrough on this channel as well. And also check out the newly updated Woodland Piano. All of the relevant links will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, have a lovely day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone!